Here we have the Pope snapshot timer, and this is the default screen when you put the batteries in. The middle button is the universal symbol for change. So that's the button you use to change between the different functions marked around the screen. Then use the plus or minus button to adjust the value. So we'll start by setting the time. It's now 7.30, so when you have it correct, you press the change button to move the function to start water. What time do you want to start watering? Let's make it 7.35. Then press the change button again. How long do you want to water for? You can select any duration from 1 to 360 minutes. It's a big garden, so I want to water for half an hour. And how often do I want to water? You can choose anything from every hour an hour as an example. I'm going to select every four days. Then it goes to auto. It's all the way around and we're ready to go. It will also tell you next start time. And there's a battery life indicator down the bottom. There is also a rain delay feature. So if you push the plus button while the arrow is on auto, you'll bring up the delay menu. If you know it's going to rain for three days, you can adjust set the delay for three days with plus and minus buttons. Quite often with this model, someone will press the plus button and enter the delay mode while it's in auto, which pauses all other functions of the timer. The trick is to push the negative button and back out of it until you get to 12 hours. Then press the negative button one more time to get back to the main screen. There's also a manual function. Just press the manual button to turn that on or off. You can water for up to 360 minutes. Adjust the time up and down with the arrows. You may need to wait up to 5 seconds. Then you'll hear a click and the tap icon will appear on screen to indicate watering has begun. You can reset all settings by holding the change. It's as simple as that.